this uh, video or uh, gives us the propagation of uh, plane waves in uh, various media. Uh, we will be mostly talking about the propagation of plane waves. So first we will see what are these uh, plane waves and uh, then we will study the propagation in the media. Now uh, we know that when the wave uh, is um, coming out of uh, uh, out of a uh, antenna it is in the form of a spherical wave front since uh, it is informally coming on all the sides of the antenna. So these spherical waves when they travel in the media they get expanded depending upon as the distances with the distance these uh, waves uh, travel and these uh, spherical wave fronts become big, big, bigger and bigger wave fronts and when these wave fronts strike uh, an antenna far away these wave, very small portion of the wave front strikes, strikes the antenna since the antenna size is quite small as compared to size of the spherical wave so we can consider that wave uh, at the antenna to be like a plane wave. We call it a plane wave and uh, since the wave front is uh, uh, all plane and we can see that how the plane wave uh, looks like uh, when you see the Cartesian coordinate system. Here this figure shows the right handed uh, coordinate system uh, and in this the E and H fields are in YZ plane and this wave is propagating in the X direction. So basically it is a plane wave and we also sometimes say it is a uniform plane wave because there is no variation of electric magnetic field in the space uh, with the uh, change of y or z so it is a uniform plane wave now these uh, uh, wave equations uh, these waves could be studied uh, by so by solving the uh, uh, simple uh, wave equation and uh, for different media we will take a simple and uh, a typical example of a free space uh, wave, a wave which is traveling in a free, free space. That wave, that uh, what are the different parameters it has, like it travels with c the velocity of light and that v naught is given by 1 over under root mu naught over epsilon naught, mu naught epsilon naught, 3 into 10 power 8 meters per second, this is the velocity of light. So this is the propagation free space for, uh, uh, for the plane wave. It is a transfer to the direction of propagation. It is obvious here. The direction of propagation is x and uh, the E and H fields are transfers to the direction of propagation. The other very important parameter is the intrinsic impedance of the medium. This is denoted as eta Ey over Hz. These are the transverse components of the electric field related to mu naught over epsilon naught and for this free space this value comes to be 122, 120 pi or 377 ohms and these waves do carry energy with them. So this is the simple case of a free space wave. Now we uh, can represent these uh, plane waves in mathematical form as uh, shown here. Uh, we, if we consider a sinusoidal uh, variation like E equals to Em cos omega t minus beta x where it is the wave is traveling in plus x uh, direction and uh, Em is the magnitude of the electric field 
this could more conveniently be written as an exponential form as the real part of em e to the power j omega t minus beta x it's an exponential form and it is being observed that this exponential form is more convenient for manipulation of uh, these uh, equations so in many cases we will try to use this exponential form of the equation now if we take uh, 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 different uh, media what are the different media <coughs> like there is a free space which we have already considered then perfect dielectric media there is a partially conducting media and the fourth is the conducting media so these media it will depend upon the uh, uh, various uh, media parameters and uh, like D is epsilon E, B, mu H and J there are media medium properties these are medium properties and depending upon these medium properties you get uh, propagation in different uh, media so since in free space both space charge free charges and conductivity is zero so we get increasing evidence as mu naught over cell naught 120 pi if the there is a perfect dielectric we have the same conditions the eta is given here root mu over epsilon naught not like mu naught over epsilon naught for free space if there is a media partially conducting media this sigma over omega, omega epsilon naught is much less than 1 and the value for eta turns out to be j omega mu sigma plus j omega epsilon and for the conducting media sigma over omega epsilon is much greater than 1 and taking the approximation of this you get the value of eta omega mu versus sigma angle 45 degrees so this is uh, just an illustrative example giving that how the free space uh, uh, impedance is different uh, in different media similarly you could find the propagation constant uh, uh, propagation constant in different media may velocity of propagation or phase velocity in different media and other parameters and all these are being uh, obtained through the solution of the wave equations to uh, different uh, uh, media properties. Now one of the very important uh, parameter uh, for the conducting media is if there is a good conductor we observe that uh, when uh, say we send a radio frequency uh, there is a very large attenuation uh, of um, these waves uh, on a good conductor and a very important parameter was defined as, as a, a skin depth is delta basically it is the it's a depth uh, in the conductor in which the attenuation the wave has attenuated to 1 by e or approximately 30 percent of the original value so this uh, um, skin depth normally is very small for the case of uh, micro frequencies or high frequencies the governing relation uh, here is that delta 1 by alpha 2 by omega mu epsilon the root and this is the equation in terms of uh, frequencies pi f mu sigma that means if the frequencies uh, are further higher you get this delta much smaller so that's why you can a illustrative example uh, being like a 10 gigahertz for a good conductor it is being observed that delta is about 6.6 .6 in 10 power minus 4 millimeters so normally that skin depth is very small and that's why you must have seen at uh, micro frequencies uh, the waveguides are coated with, with a very thin of uh, uh, silver a good conductor and because uh, most of the wave is remains on the surface and uh, uh, there could be uh, the media after the skin depth uh, does not really matter much so a good conductor should be there uh, for conducting the micro frequencies and um, and um, by having a good reflections you can uh, transmit the microwaves through these uh, media thank you